real education. Tinku and Rinki were twin siblings. They both studied in the same class in the same school. Both were excellent in studies, but often Tinku scored better than his sister. Dad laid down a condition when both of them insisted on having a bicycle. My budget allows me to purchase only one bicycle. So whoever will score better between you two will get the bicycle. After hearing father's words, both the kids started studying. But Tinku was very smart. He knew how to get good marks. He used to study only that portion which was supposed to come in the exams. Whereas Rinki was fond of studies. She used to study the entire textbook. Keep in mind, I will get the bicycle. Whatever you are studying is useless. This won't come in exams. How do you know? Hey, see this. Tuition sir has given me question papers of last 3 years. Every time questions are repeated from these only. Okay, but I don't want to take any shortcut. Whatever will be the question, it will be asked from books. Let me study. Don't disturb please. Both the kids started studying in their own style. Finally, exams were over. Yay! Exams are over. We will have fun. After a few days, results were declared and once again same thing happened. Tinku was declared topper and Rinki stood second. Yay! Now I will get the bicycle. Hooray! Bicycle was gifted to Tinku. He was extremely happy. Take this. But keep in mind that this bicycle belongs to both of you. Let Rinki also ride this. But Tinku did not listen to anyone. He took his bicycle and ran away. That same evening, to celebrate results of both the kids, entire family went out for dinner. After finishing their dinner, when the family stepped out of the restaurant, suddenly some people approached them with mic and camera. We are doing promotion of G1 bicycle. We have a small quiz for the kids. If you answer all the questions correctly, then you will be gifted top model of G1 bicycle along with this new bag and a bottle too. Both the kids participated in the quiz. Questions in the quiz were from their books only, but totally different from examination paper. Rinki had studied the book thoroughly. Hence, she solved all the questions of the quiz very quickly. Please have this, Uncle. I have solved all the questions. That's impressive. You did it very fast. Very good. Tinku tried very hard, but he did not know the answers, and at last, he also gave the quiz paper. After looking at both the papers, organizers announced the winner. And in this quiz. Winner with 100% correct answer is Rinki. Rinki was gifted cycle as prize along with other gifts. Whereas Tinku learned a lesson. Tinku now understood that we should not study for numbers only but for knowledge too. School homework. Long time ago, 8-year-old Shivam lived with his parents in a city. Shivam was very fond of playing and having fun. And while doing all this, he used to ignore homework of his school. Mom, I will do my homework tomorrow, okay? And by making an excuse, he used to take a holiday on the day when teacher had to check homework of the kids. Mom, I have a stomach ache. I won't be able to go to school. Don't worry, Shivam. Better you take rest today. And this went on for many days. And suddenly, one day, class teacher said to every child in class, Children, tomorrow I will check notebooks of English, Hindi and maths of each and every one of you. Therefore, tomorrow you all are required to come up with your notebooks. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. 
Shivam's friend Ankit knew that none of Shivam's notebook is complete. He said to Shivam, Shivam, what will you do now? None of your notebook is complete as of now. I know that. And that's why I'm not coming to school tomorrow. What? Yeah. <laughs> and then as usual, the very next day, Shivam started lying about pain in his stomach. Mom, my stomach is aching very badly today. Again today? What can be done now? You better don't go to school and rest. And like that, Shivam got his much required holiday from the school. One by one, teacher was checking notebook of each and every kid. And then, a glance at her watch on the wrist reminded teacher that school time was about to get over. And then she said to everyone, Kids, school time is about to over now. Therefore, all the children whose notebooks are left, kindly bring them tomorrow for checking. That very evening, Ankit told everything to Shivam when they met in the park. Teacher has said, That notebooks of all those left will be checked by teacher tomorrow. Is that so? I won't be coming tomorrow too. <laughs> Next day too, while checking the notebooks, it was about for school time to get over. And again, teacher said to the children, Notebooks of all those left today also will be checked tomorrow. This time also, Ankit told Shivam what teacher said. Today, also same thing happened. Therefore, teacher has said that she will check remaining homeworks tomorrow. That's great. It means I got one more holiday. <laughs> like this, three more days passed by. Teacher checked notebooks for three more days. And Shivam, by making one excuse or the other, took holidays one after another. On the sixth day, when he tried to take another holiday, his mother didn't listen to him and sent to him in anger. I've been watching you since six days. You make excuses for having holidays and entire day you play with your friends. Therefore, you have to go to school today. But mother, my stomach is aching very badly. You better go to school quietly else I'll call your father. Shimon was very scared of his father. Therefore, he agreed to go to the school. As you say, mom, I'm going to school. Shivam got ready and went to the school. As soon as the teacher saw him in the class, she said, Shivam, finally you came to school today. I was really waiting for you since very long. Now quickly come to me and show me your notebooks. I would want to check your notebooks. Shivam got scared after listening to his teacher's words. He got up and said, Teacher, I forgot to bring my notebooks today. Why? You knew that I'm checking notebooks of every student. Then how come you forgot to bring your notebooks? Sorry, teacher. You have to come with your notebooks tomorrow and don't dare to be absent tomorrow at all. Okay, teacher. After getting scolding from his teacher, Shivam understood that somehow or other he has to complete his notebooks now. He said to his friend Ankit. Ankit? Can you give me the notebooks of all the three subjects? Why? What will you do with my books? Teacher has asked you to come up with your notebooks, right? I know very well. But my notebooks are incomplete. Therefore, with the help of your notebooks, I will complete my notebooks too. But what is the need to do all this? As always, you can remain absent tomorrow. No, I think I can't delay this matter further, my friend. Therefore, I have to complete this work now. But how will you complete your notebooks by tomorrow morning? I don't know, but I have to do homework now. Ankit gave his notebooks to Shivam. He reached his home. Straight away, he went to his room and started doing his homework. Throughout the day and night, he kept on working. And by the morning, he completed all the three notebooks. He felt relieved after completing his work. Finally, I completed work of all the three notebooks. Now I can go to school happily. Next day, he went to school with all the three notebooks. As soon as the class began, teacher spoke to Shivam first. Shivam, come and show your notebooks to me. Shivam went to his teacher with his notebooks. 
Due to waking up in Thai night, he was very tired. His eyes had become red too. See, teacher, my notebooks. By looking at his tired face, teacher got to know that he has completed these notebooks while working in Thai night. She explained Shivam by saying, I knew that your notebooks are incomplete. You've completed these by waking up in Thai night. Therefore, due to tiredness of your eyes have become red. Shivam, that's why it said that we should complete our work on time, so that we can escape the burden of doing the entire work all together later. You better keep this in mind always, that by running away, the work which you're trying to escape will become more of a burden. Shivam understood what teacher wanted to say. He said, Sorry, teacher. From now on, I will complete my work on time and will never leave any work for tomorrow. This way, Shivam got rid of his habit of leaving today's work on tomorrow and he started completing his work on time. If you like our videos so far, then please like them, comment and subscribe.